We heard a loud pop, then a bit of a smoke, and then some flames. His hands were wrapped in bandages, and he was handcuffed to the railing of the bed. Passengers describe a terror attack and the arrest of a suspect who tried to blow up a plane as it landed at Metro Airport. The Christmas Day bombing attempt has everybody from the Department of Homeland Security right up to the President of the United States on alert tonight. The suspect says he was acting on behalf of Al-Qaeda when he tried to detonate an explosive on a flight from Amsterdam to Detroit. Yeah, the flight was just landing when the frightening incident took place. Incredibly, though, nobody was seriously hurt. And we're learning tonight more about the suspect. Let's get to Fox News' Andrea Isom. She begins our team coverage. She is live at Metropolitan Airport. Andrea? As the hours go on, you are right. We are learning more about the suspect, and quite frankly, the details are chilling. And it's very scary to think what could have happened to so many innocent people if his plan to kill would have worked. The ambulance, fire trucks, and uh, a lot of fire departments, you know, are coming in here. They went through customs. They went, you know, beyond immigration. And they came out with a dark-complexed uh, male. It looked like he was early 20s. His hands were wrapped in bandages, and he was handcuffed to the railing of the bed. The man, the menace, 23-year-old Abdul Mudala of Nigeria. And he is no stranger to Homeland Security. His name is on the do not fly list. And according to investigators, Mudala's despicable actions were all on Al Qaeda's behalf. Sources telling Fox News his instructions were to blow up the plane over U.S. soil. The Northwest flight originated in Nigeria, made a stop in Amsterdam, and then on to Detroit. And it was here where he allegedly tried to execute his plan. There were 278 passengers on board. It's a scary moment, you know, so when you're out there, you really don't know what is going to happen. What the FBI first said to be fireworks ignited on the flight soon took a more sinister turn. Experts and investigators concluding that the explosive device, a mix of powder and liquid, was much more powerful and potentially deadly. Mudala's attempt at murder failed when he tried to ignite the device. Was this explosive strapped to his body? Investigators aren't quite sure. The suspect accused in what a White House official is calling an attempted terrorist attack suffered third-degree burns. This Christmas Day chaos was scary, but it was over in a matter of seconds, thanks to the passengers who struggled with Mudala taking him down. You know, I think they're heroes. As far as I'm concerned, because nobody knows exactly what the person is up to, you know, whether he's uh, planning on doing something. You just don't have any room for to tolerance when it comes to endangering lives. There's, there's uh, no leeway. Law enforcement heavy-handed at Metro Airport. FBI, TSA, bomb squad, ICE, state police, Homeland Security, and more. The K-9 cops sniffing every single solitary inch of this plane, and every single passenger was questioned by investigators. Some for several hours. In fact, it was about six hours before they were all reunited with their families and friends. The passengers we talked with said they never saw this coming. There was never a warning, just an explosion. One of the passengers was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. There are so many unanswered questions tonight. How did this happen? How did this man beat security? How is a man that is on a do not fly list able to get on a plane? The FBI is investigating. But one thing is for sure tonight, passengers and their families and their friends are grateful on this Christmas day to be together, safe and sound. We're live in Metro Airport. Andrea Isom, Fox 2 News. And so, Andrea, tonight additional security measures are being taken at airports all across the country, in fact, all around the world. However, the Department of Homeland Security is not saying exactly what those extra measures are. So here's the bottom line. If you or somebody you know is traveling over the next few days, the experts at the airport say be, expect to be at the airport earlier and expect to be there a little bit longer.